Hey everybody, how you doing there? It's Mike from Haynes Inman, and I'm in the kitchen, and guess what that means? It's cooking day! But you know what? I'm missing my partner in crime. Hey, Chef Boy Armani! It's cooking day! Where are you at? She must be getting her hair done again. I don't know what the deal is, hair and makeup and all this stuff, to come help me cook. Oh, there you are! Chef Boy Armani! I'm so glad to see you! Um, so, Chef Boyer O'Malley and I are going to have a special guest star. Um, we have the boss coming in. That's Miss Jen. She keeps me in line, keeps me out of trouble, because you know I'm always up to some kind of mischief. Um, so what we're doing today is um, we're doing a, a trifle. And it's really going to be fun because we're doing it as a family because it's Michael's birthday. So we're making him a surprise trifle for his birthday. So... Um, so what we have is we have one brownie. Uh, we, we made brownie yesterday. So I made my brownies ahead of time just so that it would save us 30 or 35 minutes of cook time. So we got brownies. Um, we have two eight ounce containers of cream cheese, um, one and one half cup of peanut butter. So we're gonna use both creamy and crunchy peanut butter. Uh, we have one cup of powdered sugar. Heavy cream, um, vanilla extract. Oh, 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 Cool Whip. Everybody loves Cool Whip. You can dip your strawberries in it or a spoon or just your finger. You know, you can go, mm, yummy, Cool Whip. Um, we've got um, some butterfingers. We're gonna, we're gonna chop up and, and, and sprinkle throughout. Um, a half a cup of sea salt and one package of chocolate chips. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the chocolate chips and the heavy cream. I'm gonna go back here and make the ganache while Miss Jen cuts the brownies and Miss Maddie crunches up our um, our butterfingers for the sprinkle throughout. And so we're just gonna hit that with, with a um, thing, pulse it real quick and, and, and cut, cut them up. Uh, so Miss Jen, do your thing. So the brownies are supposed to be cut into small little squares, bite-sized pieces, because you're going to layer your trifle. While Maddie is pulsing, the purpose of the pulse is to make sure that the pieces are big enough to eat, taste, and have some texture. So what after that? So what, what are you gonna work on? Maddie and I will start to do the boots. I'll work on, I'll work on this um, pinage back here. No, yep, you can't do it again. Just hit it real easy, Mad. So the first thing you're going to put in is the softened cream cheese into the mixture. I am going to get the peanut butter ready. And this is a cup and a half of peanut butter. And as Mike said, we're going to be using both crunchy and smooth. Mike, can I eat this one? Be careful with this one. That's what I thought you were doing. Okay. Maddie is, uh, you can tell that we don't cook in the kitchen together. It is a little crazy. So I like clean and orderly. I am not allowed to come in when they're juggling eggs. Mm -hmm. 
The peanut butter is a tad bit messy, as you can imagine. We all love Michael. He would be very excited to know that we are making a mess for his birthday. And then when I'm doing this, Madison, you can do one cup of powdered sugar, please. Because that's supposed to go in there too. How are you doing back there, Mike? Very good. I'm just trying to get it smooth. I'm going to make sure I didn't burn the um, chocolate chips. Okay. So, so I started out, ladies and gentlemen, with chocolate chips and um, and heavy cream, and I turned it into a ganache. Look at how creamy, creamy and smooth it is. Look, yummy! It's gonna be good. everything around. Um, all right, so what's our next next couple of steps here, Miss Jen? All right, so. Where do we need the sea salt? Not yet. Okay, not yet, all right. So next. we are going to do, in the large mixing bowl, whip together both softened cream cheese, peanut butter, and powdered sugar. Okay, we're in the process of doing that. Yep, and then um, one and a half cups of heavy cream and vanilla. Heavy cream and vanilla. So after she gets that stirred a little bit, we're gonna add one and a half cups of heavy cream. Okay. I'm just gonna leave that one. We done with this knife? Yep. No, we're not done with the knife. Can you give me a spatula? Yeah. What kind of spatula, man? Eight, seven, this one. No, I did not cut. Oh, okay. okay, there's that. All right, so you're good there. So what kind of vanilla are we doing? What, um, one teaspoon of pure vanilla. One teaspoon of pure vanilla. Michael better know I love him. I've got peanut all over me. I know he did that really crazy. So whip, after you put the cream and the vanilla, whip for two to three minutes until fluffy, combined, and smooth. There you go. Look at it. Look at it. They can all see it. They think it's two to three minutes, Ben. All right. What's next? Huh? Um, cool. It's got to get open. 
Yes, one, actually both the ports can get open. Use your tape, wipe the little plastic on the side, break it open. That's just how you do it. Or you put a little red tab that they have there. I just prefer to use my tape. Get that out of there. You need to whip it a little, a little faster now. Yeah, yeah, yeah but there was milk out. everywhere. Okay. I was trying to get it stirred in a little bit. There's now. All right. So, what's wrong? Napkin. Napkin. All right. So, as we're whipping up, um, we've got our crushed up um, little chunks of Butterfinger right here. I better taste it. Quality assurance. Oh, yummy! Okay, two, three minutes. Mixture will be six. Then you add in eight ounces of thawed whipped topping and whip for three more minutes. Um, so we can't use it. What? Yeah. You know what? This is whipped. This is the whipped topping. This here is our whipped topping. It's whipped for three more minutes. No. With the whipped topping. With the whipped topping in it. But you need to strip that side. You need to drop it down, drop it down, and run it across the side. Yeah, but you gotta get stuff off the top. Oh. Okay, there you go. We get stuff scraped off all off the top and on, on the sides, and then we crack it back up. Is it fluffy yet? Yeah, we're getting there. Okay, that's what it's supposed to taste like. Peanut butter. Okay. So that looks kind of fluffy. Daddy's got it in her hair. Good thing it's up. Shut it down. Drop it down. Drop eight ounces of Cool Whip in there. Yep. Just jam it down in there. And it's getting, for three more minutes. It's getting really cool. There's that. Meanwhile, <laughs> done with that. All right. So we're gonna whip it for three minutes. Gotta crank it up a little bit. Come. And then when that's finished, we start to layer. Yeah. All right. So we only need this piece of the ninja. We're gonna get this out of here so everybody can see what's going on as we layer. All right. Okay. And we're gonna need that glue. Now, leave it run. I've got I've got a timer running for you. Just oh, I just want to run. Okay. Just let it run. Mike, we're gonna need that green. In the bowl, is that what you said? Yeah. So, what is our bottom layer? Oh, can you um, take the tea bowl and do a quarter to a half a cup? In the, in the mixture? No, just you're going to sprinkle it on. So, just put it in your little. Oh, oh, all right, yeah, 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 for sure. Why? 
So, we got some sea salt. That's all we got. All right. So, it calls for some sea salt because we're not. I know. Everything is. All right. So, normal temple salt is really fine. So, I have some sea salt here. I'm turning it up so you can see. Look at the big crystals. They're big, chunky. I'm going to dab my finger in it and put it up so you can see how big and chunky they are. Um, the regular soda is just fine. Mm. Ooh, it's very salty. All right. So, Miss Gillen says, oh, we're done with that. All out of sea salt. One last thing we got to put back. Clean this up as I go. All right. So tell me, Miss Jen, what are we doing? All right. So now you're going to take the mousse. Do you want to show them what the mousse looks oh, like? Oh, yeah, yeah. We want to look at the mousse for sure. It's a little messy, but that's okay. Okay. So look at the mousse. It's yummy. Oh, it smells peanut buttery. Ooh, I would love, I would love to tell you if you guys had smell vision again, it would smell like peanut butter. Yummy. So you're gonna take the mousse and you're gonna divide it into thirds. Okay, thirds. We're not really gonna divide it. We're just gonna make it work. We're just gonna dump. Yep. So you want the bowl to be clear so you can see the layers as we go. Clear bowl. Look, you can see my face through the other side. And you're gonna start with one third of the peanut butter mousse in the bottom of the bowl. Maddie, can you take the brownies and um, break them up so you can get rid of the whole thing? One third, like I'm working on it. You're gonna spread it around. That's what I'm trying to figure out what about a third is. So a third's gonna be kind of a guessing game, really, for us. Okay. What so do I need, like two chunks? Um, yes, yeah, so you're going to take half of the brownies and layer them over top of the mousse. Just put a little bit Arrange half of the cube brownie pieces. Okay. And some of them need broken now in half drop even. Drop some of the brownies in. Yep. Okay. What's next? We're going to get all of that in first. Then you're going to sprinkle with one third of the chopped Butterfinger. Oh, chopped butterfinger. I was thinking chopped butterfinger, but I forgot. Look, chopped butterfinger. Keep no. coming in. I said, I don't know. The oh, butter the butterfinger is excellent. Ooh, the brownies are nice and moist. Okay. Okay, butterfinger. And so we did leave nice big chunks so you can taste it as you're eating it. Okay. And then you're going to sprinkle a little bit of the um, sea salt in. Now the sea salt is designed so you don't have to use peanuts. You either use cocktail peanuts or sea salt. We chose the sea salt because we don't really love peanuts okay. in our stuff. There's some sea salt. All right. Um, repeat. So peanut butter mousse. Rinse, repeat. This is a third. Get moved out there. Okay. All right, Maddie, the rest of the brownies. Brownies? Yeah. That's a lot. Well, you're supposed to use half. The fun thing about a trifle is you really can put anything in it you want. You could use Reese cups, you could use fruit, you could use um, pudding, whatever you want in your trifle. All right, and now we're gonna do peanut butter, more of this, but or I'm sorry, more Butterfinger. And you can go as thick as you want or as heavy as you want. 
Michael Moore. Moore Cecil. Yep, we forgot the ganache, but that's okay. We're gonna make that happen right now. We'll just pour it all in one section. How's that? So this? Yep. So we did. Um, there's got to be some for the top. Okay. Well, we got to make it. I'm just putting a layer. Yeah, that's right. We're going to do the layer. Yep. It looks good. So when he got done melting, he let it sit and cool and it gets a little bit more thick. So it doesn't all pour down as easily. There's the all right, now okay. I'm some sea salt right on top of that. Okay. I think that's plenty of sea salt. Chocolate and salt, yummy. Okay, so spread uh, remaining brownie cubes. Spread with final layer of mousse. Okay. That's right there. Yeah, it's a little bit chunky. That's probably that's probably the where the peanuts are. Bottom. Should have stirred it up. It is what it is. I think it's really cheesy. We're just rolling with it. Must get hard. All right. So see the lovely layers. Yay. Mike did a really good job. Okay. It's all good. Okay. So you spread it with a finer layer of mousse. Okay. Then you frost with eight ounces of cream cheese. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Eight ounces of Cool Whip on top. <laughs> what do you mean frost? Right on adding. I had one of these at Emily Lee Sunday last year. Yeah, that's a really good one. What kind of was that? I don't know. I think it was like custard. I think I might want to add like some of this stuff. What's it about? Yeah, like the spread that I made. Mm-hmm. All right, then you drizzle. A little more chocolate ganache. Top of the chocolate ganache. Yeah. 
So part of the problem is my ganache is thickening up. You should have written his name on it. Could have piped it. Oh, that's a good idea. We could have piped it. There you go. And there's that. And then you're sprinkling with the rest of the, not the rest of. Dusting. And then we're dusting. Yep. Maddie is doing it around the edges for a. Sorry. Can you yeah, push it towards the middle? Yeah, put it in the middle. And just That's a great idea. Around. This was a messy one, guys. Definitely. And sure way was. too many people in this small kitchen. Yeah, but it's for the family. It's for Michael's birthday. We did it together. It's a great time. And um, I think that we've all had a really good time together. We tripped over each other. Um, Maddie, uh, Maddie is loving doing this one. It's a lot of fun. What we'll do is we'll show you what it looks like up close. So and it's got to chill for four hours before you eat it. Look at that yumminess. I can't wait to get the spoon. I think I'm going to eat it straight out of the bowl, right just now. like this, after it's chilled in the, in the refrigerator for four hours. All right, so I'm going to set it back down here, and um, I'm going to say to everybody, hey, everybody, thank you very much. I hope you all had a great time. I had loads of fun. It's a lot. It's just a very different thing than we would normally do. It's great to try new things. Have a great day.